what's going on guys, it's Deathmonk here. Today I'm going to be talking about this rather interesting uh, tweet video that we actually got yesterday in regards to the brand new Warzone 2.0 resurgence map named Ashika Island. Now, for those who have not seen this before, the um, description reads, Enjoy a moment of zen before battle. Uh, tack they've already just revealed the tack map uh, at the time of going this video. So we're going to take a look at this rather interesting video. Uh, and as you guys can see from their further tweet, Ashika Island awaits. <clears throat> So, if for that further ado, let's take a look at this rather interesting video. Now, towards the end of that video that you just saw, you will have noticed there were some Japanese characters. And those Japanese characters, when translated from Japanese to English, uh, the Japanese word is Ashika, which, when translated to English, means Sea Lion. Now, as you guys can see from Call of Duty's Twitter account, it reads, Notice on, critical intel incoming, your tier of Ashika Island awaits. Now, as you guys can see, um, <clears throat> after getting so many, um, quote, retweets, uh, we had to basically, they were going to give us some more intelligence on what the actual map looks like. So the first one, Suki Castle, uh, has a description which reads, Infiltrate quickly, pass the tower's defenders, reach the hidden space. Now, uh, just a little disclaimer here, guys. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, Suki Castle is a brand new uh, location. Uh, don't get this confused with Shuri Castle from World at War and uh, Call of Duty Vanguard. They are not the same location, so please do bear that in mind. But that's the first image we got. After 500 quote retweets, we got our second image, which is the town centre, with a description that reads, Long range or up close, through the market's many stalls, find the next shootout. Now, interestingly, you can see we've got a um, castle up in the background up there. Uh, I've got what appears to be two buildings uh, on a on a riverside here, so that looks really cool. Um, and over here, as you can see, we've got like uh, various different. Um, what a, as you can see, we've got like uh, cherry blossom there. We've got really interesting locations in the background as well. Uh, so that's really interesting to look at. A uh, little um, thing I, I've actually managed to find myself. If you look very carefully at this little. Um, well, I can't think of the word I'm searching for is, but sign, uh, you'll notice that we've actually got an overlay of the actual map in, uh, in the middle of it there. That looks really interesting. Uh, the next image we got uh, had a description which reads, Beach Club, not a vacation, don't let Capanis deceive. Grab sand, take cover. So as you guys can see, we've got a, what appears to be another area in the, on the riverside here. We've got, some, uh, we've got a rather large building on the left-hand side. We've also got... Um, some areas of what appears to be some sort of marina, which looks pretty cool. I can't wait to check this area out. Um, <clears throat> after, a further, after a further amount of time, we've actually managed to find our next image, which is the underground waterway. And the description reads, Deep below the earth, long tendrils branching outward. Warmth, nose, no home here. So we've got like an undercover area here, which I think can only be accessed uh, through some of the tunnels on the waterway <clears throat> and it looks like this area has two levels now I don't think you can breach down from above as far as I can see with the map which I'll show you in a moment but uh, that looks really interesting there guys let me know what you guys thought of this in the comments box down below um, and there was a further tweet which read where are you dropping and the final tweet that we managed to have so far and the film tweet so far actually shows the uh, island itself when displayed from above. Now, as you guys can see, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven points of interest, uh, which, uh, going from my knowledge so far, I think ha is actually less than what uh, Rebirth Island or Vos Residentia Island had back in the days of Warzone 1. So, I've got, I hope I'm pronouncing these names right, Okuniku Farms, we've got Residential, Shipwreck. Suki Castle, Town Centre, 
Beach Club and Porsche Chica. So that looks really interesting there guys. Let me know what you guys thought of this in the comments box down below. Now according to, I think it was uh, Tim the Tatman, apparently we're getting some sort of trailer. Now if you do manage to get yourself a trailer, um, I will annotate it on screen. If it turns out not to be the case, then um, I'll show you this rather interesting video courtesy of Irving Cruz on Twitter, who's actually managed to find uh, exactly what uh, Tim the Tapman actually claims. So let's take a listen to this. I'm tweeting stuff out, so I'm going to keep like showing them off kind of when they do. And then on top of that, I know there's some cinematic coming that's going to fully show most of everything. Um, so, one of the guys thoughts of that? Let me know in the comments box down below. I'm here to hear what you guys' views and opinions are. Also, just to uh, finish um, finish off this video, I've actually noticed something on top of this uh, coming from Call of Duty Wars on mobile. Uh, it reads: Drop in and send your enemies to the departure lounge. The Dansk's airport is currently taking direct flights from Australia, but will be opening an international terminal later this year. Drop an airplane emoji if you're heading to airport in Wars on mobile. So, what could this suggest? Let me know in the comments, but that looks really interesting to see. Uh, of course, Verdansk is scheduled to be coming to Warzone Mobile when it does eventually launch uh, to the public. So, a lot of interesting things look uh, looking good for uh, Warzone Mobile. What do you guys thought? So again, let me know in the comments, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.